Uh, hello, everyone. This is uh, Yan Lu from Easy Stack, and uh, it's my colleague Sun Bing. Hi, guys. And uh, today we will talk about ECS offers new and uh, enhanced feature through its uh, evolvable product platform to support business innovation. And the uh, first part, who we are. EasyStack is a leading open source cloud computing solution provider, and we have established in February 2014 by the earliest core open stack research and develop team from IBM China. We have served more than 500 both domestic and international large enterprise clients. And of our office and branches has, have been in 60 cities in China and also have the branches in Silicon Valley, Taipei, Singapore, and Sydney. And let me introduce our product. Uh, we have summarized the six points that why users choose EasyStack OpenStack product. First, one-click rolling upgrade on microservice architecture. Second, sustainable evolution. Third, provide multi-production-ready enterprise solution. Fourth, high-performance storage. Fifth, simple maintenance and monitoring by automation service. Sixth, visualize resource orchestration to application center. And uh, I will explain the contents of architecture as the following parts. And uh, this is our product line, and we have uh, multi-cloud service, uh, enterprise production-ready Kubernetes service, uh, cloud-ready HCI product, and uh, enterprise OpenStack product. So why we say our product is uh, evolvable? Uh, our product has the ability of importing new features continuously to meet the flexible business needs of users. And uh, all the components in our cloud platform Cloud platform has uh, uh, can can smooth upgrade and without uh, perception. Uh, according uh, according to users uh, according to uh, users business scenario, uh, we can adjust our product architecture to adapt to the users data center. So we say our product is a distributed microservice evolvable architecture, which is based on OpenStack, Kubernetes, and the Ceph. And uh, uh, if you want to come to such a product, you also need CI/CD, and uh, our uh, CI/CD product is called Suit Mob. So my colleague Sun Bing will uh, show you the demo. Uh, what is uh, what is uh, uh, upgrade uh, and uh, without uh, smooth upgrade without perception? Okay. So next, I will show the smooth upgrade of our product ECS, and uh, we. And so next, uh, uh, I will do the upgrade uh, to upgrade our ECS product from 3-1 to 3-2. There is a bug in 3-1, and I will upgrade to 3-2 to fix the bug. The bug is that uh, the language of our ECS product cannot be changing, cannot be changing by changing the browser's language. So you can see the browser language is English now, and the product language still in Chinese. So I will upgrade to 3-2 to fix that. So let's do it. We will enter the EZ stack automation center and click cloud environment upgrade here. Uh, we choose a suitable version, 3-2 and uh, click the start upgrade here. So the upgrading may take a few minutes, so let's turn to Lou. Okay. Okay, thanks, Bing. And uh, let's back to the slide. Uh, these two uh, pages uh, uh, is about uh, our two key features, uh, which is uh, uh, visualized orchestration and uh, application marketplace. And uh, Bing will still uh, show, the, uh, show the operation about these two key features and uh, to, imp to prove what is, uh, uh, what is smooth upgrade and without perception. OK, uh, and then I will uh, deploy application, a demo application when the smooth upgrading is during and uh, uh, we will turn to the console page and uh, turn to the orchestration panel and create start here. We will create a template from 
scratch, yeah, and uh, click the create here. And uh, we will put a public net here and uh, add a router here and a private network here. And we will add two instances to achieve the, achieve the uh, LB. Okay. Then server two, and uh, we will add a lot of lot of LB here. Uh, we will set some details of the server. Turn to the server zero and uh, set a flavor here. We choose a minimal flavor and uh, enter the password here. We use a simple password for demo. So click save here. The same to server one. Select a flavor. And enter the password. So next, I will set the LB listener. The pod will be a test pod. Click save here and add two servers to LB pool. Select server zero first and the port is a dam port. And another server will be added to. Okay, click add here and save changes. Save to the application market. And uh, click the template name. I uh, say the Denver demo template. Okay. Click save here. And uh, it has been uh, important to in import to the application market. And uh, we set the application name. Uh, Denver. Demo application and uh, say the car logs, uh, load balancer, and uh, also will be the, the stack and uh, the deployment info. Rushing will be rushing one. And not is uh, uh, this is uh, this is for demo, yeah. And uh, click import to import template to application market. So. We can see a uh, uh, we can see an uh, application in the application market. It's called Diamond Denver application. So where are the details? We can install it. We set the name of the application instance. Uh, this is Denver Denver application instance. So we just. Click install to install the application. Uh, and now the application demo, demo, demo version one has been deploying. Uh, so I need a um, version two for the application. So let's turn to the stack page and create a template. This time we create a template from a, a application center. So let's create. We choose the existing application and. Uh, Click OK. And uh, create a stack here. This time, we add a new server here. OK. Set the server details, the flavor. And the password. OK. Click save here and import to market. Uh, template will be Diver Demo version 2. Okay, we we'll click save here. And uh, we will choose an uh, existing application. And the version is uh, version 2. And not version 2 for test. 
Okay, import here. Okay, you can see we have uh, Diamond Devil version 2 here. It's also usable. And uh, you can see the Diamond Demo version 2 here. And uh, we have already installed the version 1. So uh, we can also install the version 2 here. That's a demo for the application center. So let's turn to Lou. <coughs> so, so thanks, B. So thanks, B. And uh, uh, this is our distributed storage system, which we, uh, we call is e ESS, and uh, it has high scalability, high reliability, and a high performance. And uh, you can also improve the storage performance. Uh, through our evolvable architecture by upgrading your uh, hardware. And uh, this is our cloud monitor servers. It, it is uh, designed for distributed microservice architecture. Through the dashboard, you can, through the dashboard, you can see the global situation real-time rendering, and it will help you operate and maintain your cloud platform. And uh, it also, uh, you can also use it to locate the fault and uh, it will provide you process methods. And uh, uh, as you can see, this is uh, uh, our cloud automation service uh, and uh, it just uh, like uh, Sumi just uh, have shown about it. And you can use it to deploy and scale out the cloud platform and also uh, use it to smooth upgrade. And this is the upgrade uh, process and uh, our process is uh, for UI wizard based. Uh, at the uh, last part, uh, uh, I will introduce you our product solution, uh, business solution. And uh, today we will show two of them. One is integrating commercial storage, and another is uh, docking ADL depth. So uh, we will, I will invite some to show about it. Okay, <coughs> okay. Uh, before I show the show this, I will show you the. Uh, I will see the, the upgrading if it uh, has been upgraded. Uh, it's still upgrading. Uh, so I will show you the L LDAP docking first. So we turn to the cloud services console. And we will turn to the boss console to uh, see the identity manager. We will create a domain from LDIP. And first, we will, uh, we, we will see the users in XST Kingston. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's only admin user here. So I will create some users from the LDIP. And uh, the domain name. We, we say it is the test. Test LDAP uh, do map yeah. and uh, choose connect to LDAP and uh, we will add the LDAP URL here. And maybe you need to add the URL here. Okay, we will use uh, our deploy key LDAP server. The uh, LDAP server is and the domain info. And the username. And the password. Okay, we click the verify here to verify the LDIP server is okay. Yeah, we say verified successfully, and we will create here. 
the quota uh, is unnecessary to configure, so we click save here. <coughs> we can see the test, test LD domain has been added to our identity manager, and uh, uh, then we will create a project in this domain. And select domain. Okay, we click create here. The the flowers, the quota also unnecessary. And uh, uh, then we will add users in this domain. Edit users. We add test CC here. Use as role of member and uh, click save. Okay, and now you can see uh, test CC has been imported to our platform, and uh, we will add it to our project. And test CC and the demand. A demand has been added. Okay. Uh, then I will log out our admin, admin panel and, uh, and uh, use the test CC to log in. Uh, before we do that, we also see the upgrading process. Okay, you can see the, the version has been upgraded to 3-2. So we, uh, we, we will need to verify the bug. Uh, we turn to the, the page and uh, see the language of uh, English, English first, and we we will refresh our page. Oh, it works! It has been in English version, so it's a, it works successfully. And then we will log out our, log out our admin user and use the LDAP test user to log in. Uh, I'll copy the email for user. Wait a minute. Test uh, CC and uh, email will be the. Okay, and uh, I log sign out it. Use test the CC and the password. Click sign in here. Okay, and you can see uh, TestCC has been successfully logged into the ECS cloud, cloud services. So it works. We turn to admin user to dive on the solution storage. Okay, we turn to the cloud automation services page, and uh, and uh, we will demo the the commercial solution storage here. We turn to the advanced configuration and uh, and uh, click uh, the uh, integration of the solution storage. Ah, okay. And uh, we choose configure, confirm here. And upgrade configure, configuration package. And uh, choose a configure package from uh, XST package. OK, we, up, uh, we click up, upload. So uh, the, the whole integration will take uh, quite a long time. So let's turn to Yanlu. Hello? OK, so we just uh, load the uh, uh, commercial, storage, commercial storage configuration. And uh, let's back to the uh, uh, slides. 
and uh, the, above, uh, the above is uh, all the contents. So uh, our product is uh, is uh, uh, evolvable, uh, commercial, commercialized, and uh, uh, scenario, scenario and the integration. And uh, our company aims to be uh, uh, to be a world class cloud computing enterprise based on the open source ecosystem. So if you have any questions, please visit us at uh, uh, Booth C2. Thank you. Thank you.